the 35 odd people who had gathered on the outskirts of an Austrian city prepared to board the bus, which would take them back to their fields in the mountains. They looked happy in expectation of the clean, clear air, eager to get away from the polluted air in the city, dirtied by the exhaust fumes of the industrial age of the late 19th century. The young mother handed over a pale, sickly looking baby boy to her sister, who had agreed to take care of the boy for a few months, so that he would, as the doctors had suggested, recover from his breathing problems in the clear air of the fields owned by his aunt and uncle. His mother stepped back and watched her sister get onto the bus and started waving as the bus driver hit the throttle and the bus slowly lumbered off. She watched as the bus negotiated the fur serpentine on its way up the hill towards the pass. It was here that the bus driver had a stroke and lost control of the bus. The young mother watched in horror as the bus did not make the next bend but continued straight on and, as though in slow motion, continued to tip over and picking up speed started toppling over and over, rolling down the steep mountainside. She watched the bus rolling down the cliffs faster and faster. She started screaming, my baby, and knew instinctively that this was a tragedy in the making. When the heap of twisted metal and wood finally came to a rest, almost exactly where it had set off a few minutes earlier, the young mother fervently started praying because she was a devout Catholic. She started praying to her God, pleading to please spare her baby. Even if you wanted her sister and everyone else on the bus dead for some reason, anything but not her baby. Up in heaven, one of the gods, the G-O-D, the God on duty, picked up the prayer and thought about his five million year plan. This particular God was not the best of all creators or the best of the schemers or best of the planners and did not participate in the meetings the gods seemed to have. So he felt sorry for the young mother and intervened before consulting the other gods and their respective five million year plans. So what happened is that as the people ran towards the bus and found only dead people, they suddenly heard the muffled screams of a baby. Mrs. Hitler, the mother of the baby, raced forward and arrived at the bus wreckage just as one of the helpers pulled a miraculously uninjured baby boy from the wrangled metal and wood and handed young Adolf over to his grateful mother.